Yeah guys, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is gonna be really, really quick and I don't know why I always manage to come out and do this in the middle of the day when it's filthy hot. What I've done just uh, via eBay, it's just kind of picked up some T10 globes at the front of the Pajero, in particular, the Parkers. The T10 globes are actually used in a multitude of different places over the car. Uh, they're using the doors, they're using the dash. We'll go around, we'll have a look at a few of these different places and I'll actually give you a closer look at the globes as well. A mate did actually give me some T10 LED globes for the front of this. And if I could find a picture on eBay, I'll put them up there. They lasted about two weeks, stopped working, and when I pulled them out, they literally just fell apart. I'm hoping these are gonna do a little bit better a job. Now, I think these cost me around about 10 bucks for 10, coming in a packet of 10. I will put up on the screen uh, the actual details of where I got these from. They do say they are error-free. Now, I don't know whether they uh, will work with CAM bus or not. The previous ones I had in the front weren't CAM bus, weren't anything special. They were just literally LED globes. They didn't have any issues and they didn't throw any code or anything like that on the Pajero, so I'm expecting these to be the same. These things are minute. Now I'll also see if I can find a proper T10 globe that I might have sitting in the shed there somewhere or in the back of the car as a spare, just so you can get an idea of the size of these. But these are a pack of 10. Should just be plug and play. We'll see how they go. Initially, I'm just gonna show you how to change the parkers in the front here. Uh, we'll make that change and then we'll go around and if there's anything in the car that I can show you that's easy enough to take a couple of minutes I'll show you how to make those changes as well. Now I haven't obviously put these in the car yet I'm, This is literally just going to be giving you a look at these showing you how to make a change to the parkers at the front and some of the other globes in the car If they shit themselves in a couple of weeks the same as the other ones I'll touch on these in a future video so keep an eye out on future videos for just a follow up on these We need to get into the car and pop the bonnet Now for your Parker and a Pajero, they live up in this sort of area here. This is your low beam, this is your high beam. So if you have a look, you're pretty much gonna go straight up above your low beam here. As far as getting into the back, this is your low beam here. You can see just here, this is your Parker just there. Literally just a case of reaching in, grabbing. I'm actually gonna twist anti-clockwise. So just put a little pressure forward on it and then twist anti-clockwise and then pull back. Now you're gonna see that I don't actually have anything in there. And there's our little, it's our little LED globe. So there's our parker. This is the little globe end. So you're gonna slide it in like that. You see there's a bit of wiggle room there. Just gonna shift it over so it feels like a bit of a centralized fit. And we'll just duck in, we'll turn that on, we'll see what happens. Now with LEDs, you, you really can't get them wrong. If you apply a voltage to the wrong side, they just won't work. Don't worry about breaking them. So we'll go and turn that on. If it doesn't work, we'll just flick it around on the other side. Okay, so that's not working. So we'll pull her out, turn her around. And there we go. So both sides are working. This is actually reasonably bright. I think that's actually a reasonable brightness considered, you know, we're comparing that to a normal little T10 globe. I am concerned a little bit that if these wiggle in the fitting, they are going to create a hot spot. Just feeling for that for heat now with the actual LED itself, and it feels okay. There's no real heat being generated by that. Anyway, I guess we will see how they go. As far as fitment goes, it is literally just the reverse. Find the hole, pop it in there, rotate clockwise until you hear it click. She's locked in, she's good to go. Now the other side is just as easy, just reach in, give it a counterclockwise turn and a pull. Now this is one of the ones that my mate gave me before and I didn't actually realise that I'd left this in because it's not been working. You can see this has actually got a little bit of rust on it here and with the previous one, all this top just literally fell apart and fell off. So these ones are a little less contrived but they do feel just as delicate. So, you know, I don't have a lot of hopes in the front here. I think these would be great for in the cab. They're so small and just so light, but I'm curious to see how these are gonna last you know, out the front with the vibrations, etc. So as you can see at night, they're actually quite bright. A little bit brighter than I expected, actually. I'm very impressed with those. 
Now, the main reason for me to go with these, obviously, is long life. Hopefully, that we'll get some long life out of these and they're not going to fail like the other ones. I'll keep you posted on that. Obviously, is the colour temperature of the LED. Now, it's, it's nice to be able to match up the white colour temp of the LEDs to match up with the high beam, the low beam, and obviously all the other lights that I've got on front. Let's we'll give you a quick look at that now. Okay, so look, while we're here, we might as well just race around and I'll just show you the other globes. I can't remember which ones are T10s and which ones aren't, but I'm just going to show you how to get to those globes, the interior globes, and how to change those if you want. And we'll identify which ones are what, basically. So, real easy, just grab yourself a screwdriver. That's pretty much going to do you for most of the stuff. We're going to have a look at this interior one. Now, these I've already changed. I've already gone around and changed all of these to LED. And I'll actually show you what I've gone to and you know, put a link down in the description, etc. and show you where I got these from. Now, a lot of these are a Festoon globe. They're not actually a T10. I can't remember. I think the ones in the door are T10. I don't think the ones in the interior up here are a T10. I think these are a Festoon globe. And there are options for that. And I'll show you what I've done there if that's what the case is. Anyway, let's jump in and have a look. This is the interior one. Literally, just grab yourself a screwdriver. Put it at the back. Push in and leave it down. There you go. All right, yeah, these ones are a Festoon globe. And what that looks like, like that. Now you can actually buy these little kits uh, from eBay. Again, these are cheap as chips, and this is the way I've gone about it. Now on the screen, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different options. You can get these, which is actually the Festoon globe with the little LED square in the middle, and I think I might have used those in the door. You'll get these kits with a number of different fitments, depending on what option you need to fit the fitting in the car and then they'll just have a little two prong I guess connector and then you basically have your little LED plate there um, now these will vary in size for the interior stuff don't go with the big ones I've made the mistake before did that in the Delica and everybody used to refer to it as a mothership that then just fits in there it is sprung so it will fit various sizes you can see there just check to make sure we've got that the right way we have again with your LED stuff, if it's wrong, just spin that around. And then what I've done there is just stuck that up the back and literally just use the double-sided tape that's on the back of that little plaque there, the LED plaque or LED plate, and just stuck it to there like that. So mine just sit there like that, or they used to before I messed about with that double-sided tape. I should have left it. But that's how basically mine will sit there like that. Now, I find that's plenty bright for the interior. Anything, anything bigger and it's just literally too bright. Put the tab in the end there and then push up and she works like that. There we go, all right, so that's the interior ones. All right, now let's come down and have a look at the ones at the bottom of the door, just here. You now I believe these ones were a T10 and come in from the end there. Just lever her down and she'll pop out. Now. These ones are a T10 in here. As I said, what I've done was gone with this kit, which gives you, in addition to the one we saw up top, the Festoon, it actually gives you a T10 fitment there as well. But I wouldn't mind actually changing over to these little T10 globes. We'll see how they go. Just there. So what you need to do is actually get your globe in there. And because the door is open, this will come on when we actually get the right fit. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to just do this door for now, and we'll see how that light compares to the light in the other doors that we've already done. As far as refitment, two tabs on the bottom, up in there like that, and then just give her a push. She'll just clip in. Now all your doors are exactly the same, passenger doors, rear doors, they can all be done. Just grab it on the corner, you'll, you'll find somewhere you can get under with that screwdriver, and just pop it down, she'll pop out. So that's the one we replaced today in the front door. Let's open the rear door, which has the other one. And <laughs> you can see that's quite a bit brighter. That's one of the kit ones, which has the 12 LEDs. Basically, there's the panel there. So you can see that there is 12 LEDs at work there. And you can see how much light 
that is outputting just there like that. So that's quite a bit of light. Keeping in mind that that is higher as well. So if you're really after light output, so for camping or something like that, maybe have a look at this light. If you're just looking to do a replacement, and just get a little bit of light down the front, there's new little T10s are quite a nice little option. And I think I'm going back to the, the kit type setup. Just, I like that extra light. It's just nice to be able to get out. You know, if you're getting out of your four wheel drive at night and it's been raining, and there's puddles and stuff around, I think just as much light as possible. So that's, the little ones are gonna come out. Not that I'm unhappy with that. I think that's gonna be a fantastic replacement for somebody that just wants to go LED. It's an easy fitment. You don't need to worry about having to hide the extra wire or anything like that or trying to fit that little plate with all the LEDs on it. But I want light output rather than convenience. So that little one will be coming out and I'll be slapping the other one back in. Still, I'm happy with that as a result. If I'd been swapping over from halogen over to LED, I'd be absolutely stoked with that. While we're in here in the car, I'm just gonna do the ones over the back here as well. Again, screwdriver, just get in the back. Now, the secret with these, and it's the same as the one at the front, don't try and pop it from the side that pushes in. Don't try and lever from this side. Go to the end that you're not pushing, you can see there's little tabs there. They just stand out. Just get your screwdriver near one of those. And it should just pop out just nicely like that. Okay, so these are festoons, so I've gone with that similar option there, where I've just gone with the springy festoon fitment there. So for fitment, again, just get your festoon globe in there. Just like that. Stick your cord out of the way. And then just find somewhere just to get that little LED to stick there. And I think I went right on the end. You, what you're really hoping for is some sort of a flat sort of surface. Um, there you go. So I've got mine in behind, I guess, the connection point there, the festoon globe there. And there is a little, little box or something there that you can find that's nice and flat. Now for refitment, little tab on the end on the switch end, put that in first and then just and then just push the rest in. There you go, and you'll hear that click when it goes. You can see that's still gonna work. We'll put the lights on. And there we go. Okay, so this is the rear one and this is the last one. And I think this is another one of those festoon type ones. Again, just get your screwdriver, pop him in the corner, apply a bit of downward pressure. And this will come out. I'm not going to pull this one out for risk of buggering that adhesive again, but you can see the festoon globe fitment there, just in the back. And then we've just got another one of those 12 element LED plates there. I've just used a double sided adhesive that's on the back just to stick it to a flat point and just left it there like that. And you can see that she works no problems at all. As far as fitting this back in, you can see that it is shaped. It's a little bit thinner at the top than it is the bottom, so make sure you get that back the right way. It is a case of just putting it in one side and then popping these tabs up. Oops. And then just give it a push and she'll click in. Nothing to it. Alright, now that we're at the back of the video, I guess that's a good place to stop. So it's pretty much just ran through, you know, front to back doing the parkers which are the t10 globes that we've got here the door ones are t10s the other ones are festoons and i want to say they're around about a 31 mil something like that but if you get the adjustable ones that i showed you they'll reach anything from about a 28 i think it is all the way through to a 40 maybe even a 41 and all the things i've talked about whether it be the little kits with the festoon globe type fitments um, all the little T10s that I've got here. I'll put a link down in the description so you can go and have a look at those ones. If you want to go and do an LED fitment for the car, I really do recommend just going and getting those little ones with the little plates and the different connectors that I've put there. The jury's still out at the moment on the little T10s. We'll see how they go in the doors. You will have actually already seen the footage uh, of what these look like compared to the other doors. So whether I'll be keeping those in the doors or going back to the other stuff, I don't know. I quite like these, they're, they're absolutely tiny. Uh, I'm really surprised at those, but again, we'll see how those go with vibrations and stuff in the front. I may be looking for another T10 to go in the front for the parkers. But ultimately, what I bought these for was to do the parkers in the Commodore, not actually the Pajero at all. Any questions, pop them in the comments below. If you found a good T10 globe 
in an LED that works for Parkers and you get some long-term results out of it, let me know. But cheers guys, that's all I got for today. It's too freaking hot. I'm getting inside. We'll catch you on the next one.